Good morning students. A warm welcome to all of you in class 7th. Today, I Miss Amrita Henry is going to teach you history. Chapter 1 that is the rise of Christianity. But before we start to discuss the chapter, I want to discuss about history. What is history? Basically, history is a subject in which we study about a past in our present to build our future, which can broadly be divided into three periods or into three parts, ancient period, medieval period, and modern period. The period which lies between ancient and modern period is known as medieval period. Basically, the word medieval comes from the Latin word medium avum which means middle age. So in class 7 children we are going to study about the medieval period as in class 6 you must have studied about ancient period. So we will focus on medieval period in class 7. So let us know about what was medieval period or when, uh, when did medieval period start. Medieval period stretches from 8th to 18th century in India but it was quite different from Europe because in Europe it stretched from 6th century to 16th century. So as you can see the difference in India we assume medieval period from 8th century to 18th century and in Europe it stretches from 6th century to 16th century. Now if I ask you in general how many religions are there in the world? You must be knowing it definitely yes so basically if we broadly divide so there are 12 major world religions which people of the world follow so which can be which can be christianity buddhism sikhism islam hinduism judaism confucianism zoroastrianism baki shinto jainism and toism so out of these 12, today we are going to discuss about Christianity. Let us know how the Christianity came up or how, what was the birth, how the Christianity came up uh, in our life or in, in the world. So at the time, the Roman Empire was one of the greatest at the time in Europe. So in the middle of first century, the Romans conquered Palestine, the homeland, which was the homeland of the Jews. It was the place where the Jews used to live and the place where the Jews used to live, that was Palestine, which was conquered by Romans in Europe. And this event has taken place in the first century. After getting this uh, conquering of the land Palestine, King Herod, King Herod became the ruler of Palestine. He was a man who tortured and killed many Jews. This made the Romans unpopular. So when Romans have conquered the Palestine, after that it was taken uh, taken over by the King Herod who was a very cruel person who used to torture and kill many of the Jews so which made him very unpopular. The Romans practice of worshipping emperors as God infuriated the Jews further. The Jews looked forward to the coming of a Messiah who would liberate them from foreign rule and establish the kingdom of God. So it was the time when people wanted a Messiah in the fa in the life who could save them, who could uh, provide them peace and love, who could spread the love and brotherhood in the world. And at the same time, there was the birth of Jesus Christ who started preaching the message of love, brotherhood and compassion. Now if we see the life of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem. He was the son of Joseph and Mary. Now the information or the source of information about Jesus Christ, we get us from the Gospels. 
Now you must be wondering what are Gospels? Gospels are the books or it, we can say it is the part of a Bible which uh, contains four of the books which tells us about the life of Jesus Christ. Not only about the life of Jesus Christ but, but also the teachings of Jesus Christ which contains four books named as Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. So from those books only we come, came to, we come to know that Jesus grew up in Nazareth and his father's occupation was carpenter. By profession his father was carpenter and later on Jesus also became a carpenter but soon because he was here in this world for some other mission, some other reason. So he abandoned his profession and he started preaching the message of love to everyone. Jesus used to preach his message in the form of parables and sermons. Now again, new words, parables and sermons. Parables are the short stories which make a moral or religious point. Or we can say some religious uh, stories are there which has value of moral values in it. Sermon is a talk on a religious or moral subjects. After that, Jesus made his 12 disciples, which were known as apostles. So 12 people, those who were appointed by Jesus Christ to spread, to spread his message to the world so that he could spread more love, more brotherhood and compassion among the people. Thank you children. This is the first video of rise of Christianity and in second video we'll be discussing about the teaching of Jesus Christ as well as the crucifixion office. Thank you.